that if you can push past your mental limits, you can become unstoppable. And that is what motivates me, is that I can show people how positivity can give you the life that you had always wished, despite the circumstances that you face. I was born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. Growing up, I was a product of my environment, living in poverty. My role models were people that was in the streets. I never knew no other way out. January 12, 2012 was the day that my life changed forever. I was part of an altercation that led to me being shot multiple times in my abdomen. And result of that, spinal cord injury, paralyzed from the waist down for the rest of my life. When the doctors told me that I was never gonna walk again, I didn't believe it. I was in denial. That put me more in a deeper hole of depression. This looks very, very good to me. <laughs> my daughter's name is Navea. I got sole custody when she was one and a half. I was determined to be a better person and a better father. And that was literally the motivation for me to start to take control of my life. <laughs> I enrolled into a local community college and took up a dietitian course. Fell in love with it. It started to heal my body in ways that just wasn't physical, it was mental. I lost 100 pounds. That was mind blowing for me. I thought to myself at that point, man, if there's anything that I want, I just have to go get it. I also opened my eyes up to fitness. So I became this award-winning adaptive athlete. Again, reaching levels of life that I never thought I was gonna reach. I was motivated to find a way to help people with disabilities become more active and healthy. So. I started my nonprofit organization. It's 105, yeah, let's hustle. What's going on in there? We got a nice workout today. My program is built for those that are ready to take the next step in life and focus on independence. You guys go back some, Tony. That's too much leverage, man. We challenge people with disabilities through training, what things that maybe you never thought you could do because you just didn't have the courage to try. Look at us moving, baby. Come on, where you at, Trey? We work with people with spinal cord injuries, PTSD, visual impairment. Slowly, all right, you can stop right here. If you have a limitation that is not allowing you to be who you are destined to be, then we can help you. Let's go. During COVID, I made my garage into a gym, adding that band. Right, like this is a band. Once it's safe to get back into a community atmosphere, we are really looking to continue our group classes. You see what I mean? <laughs> nice. You figure it out. That's all that matters. Good job, sled. I had never seen a positive representation of a person in a wheelchair that symbolized how to take control of your life. Hey man, Nick didn't come to play today, that's all. We have created a safe place where all people can work out and allowing you not to be intimidated because when you come through the door, we actually have things that speak to your ability level. Come on, easy, woo! All right, let's get these Russian twists going. I just wanted to change the way people see fitness and allow people to understand that it is for everyone. Go! We've opened our doors up to kids with disabilities. Yeah, I like it. I want to be that mentor. There we go. One more. Five. Now row. It's very important for me to go in depth on a personal level with everybody that comes to our program. What is accountability to you? Like, what gets you in the door? Proving to myself that, yes, we can do this. I come from a place of empathy. I understand the pain. 
In 2018, I was in a car accident. I'm paralyzed from the chest down. Everything in life is not going to be glittering gold. Some things stink. I'm just worrying about what I can do versus about what I can't. Nice. I love working out. Before my accident, I might be at the gym five, six days a week. I was told that I wouldn't be able to do some of the things that I do now. Oh, you're going to be there, bro. More than anything, it gives me hope. It's showing me that there are more options out there. Then I got a great support system on top of that with everybody here. We're all here for a common goal to do better for ourselves. A lot of us try to get back to the lives we had, you know, but you're learning that you're about to do more. The determination for life is powerful, man. If you don't want it, you ain't gonna have it. You ain't gonna get it. Hey, I'm drinking on that. With West, it's kind of good to have a mentor that is in the situation that you're in and they understand where you're going and where you're trying to get to. Nice. Before I met Wes, I was just living as somebody in a wheelchair. I wasn't experiencing life. Wes introduced me to an entire world of handicapped people doing things I didn't know was possible. Woo. He definitely reinstilled the ability to push past adversity, set a goal, achieve it. I choose not to allow my struggle to be my identity. I've gained so much from my injury that I don't see nothing wrong with it. And I want other people to have that same mindset. Rather you want to be an athlete, an entrepreneur, go back to work, be a parent. What we do is give you the tools to be successful in life. We're just planting that seed. Give me some love, Tony. Good job, good job. I'm not done yet. I'm just getting started. Going to the grocery store for me is a process every time. Excuse me. Most items that you really want are at the very top of the shelves. For a person like myself that wants to be independent, I strive to find ways to make it work. Oh, this is awesome. I will try to do everything in my power before I ask someone for help. <laughs> it's very difficult to shop. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Everyone can order online and get a ship and find the convenience in that. But I love to check my food. I like to see what I am picking out for myself. Can you help me with this? Just the back. Yep. Yeah. So, it's very frustrating when you are asking for help due to lack of accessibility. Thank you, appreciate you. And I think that should be changed. That's the only way that we make this world better. My ultimate goal is seeing disabilities normalized. Thank you. And the way that happens is by having people with disabilities live in life and being a part of society. It takes many voices. Speak up, that's how we become aware. And once we have awareness, we can create change. <laughs>